Okay, time for a little test. Now, actually, I don't have some big home, so I don't really have any need for a Wi-Fi extender. Plus, my Archer A9 wireless router provides me with all the coverage I could possibly want. In fact, it's become my new favorite wireless router under $100. If you want to see a review, there's a link in the description below. So now what I'm going to do, instead of going out and buying a big house just for this video, what I did is I bought some extension cord. And I'm going to take that extension cord and I'm going to hook it up to my wireless extender holder. And then I'm going to run out the door into the hall and see how far I can get. Due to its price point, the Wi-Fi extender I used in this video was once the most popular Wi-Fi extender on Amazon. It was also one of the most finicky to set up. Compared to some of the newer Wi-Fi extenders on the market, this one is not a very high performer. In fact, I would consider it kind of on the lower end of the performance scale. You can find Wi-Fi extenders of all shapes, sizes, and price points on my website. The three things I focused on were the distance the extender can stay connected to the wireless router, the extender's signal strength at different distances, and extender speed tests versus the wireless router speed tests. I was actually pretty surprised at the way this low-end Wi-Fi extender performed. So the way I had things set up was my wireless router was tucked away in the back room somewhere, exactly how I say not to do. The distance between the wireless router and the extender was only 20 feet. So I had that sitting out in the hall and then I walked down the hallway 30 feet and then I went down the stairs for another 30 feet for a total of 80 feet away from the Wi-Fi router. When I ran out of extension cord, the extender's router light was still green, meaning the extender was able to maintain a connection with the wireless router at a distance of 80 feet. I'd say that's pretty good for 40 bucks. The results I got from the signal strength testing were pretty much what you would expect from any wireless device. The farther away you got, the weaker the signal became. Okay, now for the ever popular Ookla speed tests. I got two sets of tests here, one for the wireless router and one for the extender. With the phone right on top of the wireless router, I was getting 195 down, which is pretty average for my area. When I got to 50 feet, well, then it was down to 33. Now, as you can expect, the extender is going to be a little slower. So right on top of the extender, I got 127. 30 feet away, I got 65. 50 feet away, I got 12. The one thing I want to point out is earlier I said that the extender was 20 feet away from the wireless router. So 30 plus 20, that's actually... The same thing as being connected to the wireless router from 50 feet away. So how was the wireless router doing at 50 feet? Well, it was doing a 33.6. The extender, on the other hand, was doing 65.5, which is an obvious improvement. So this little comparison right here, as far as I'm concerned, validates the extender as a useful device. Now, as far as whether it meets your needs and your budget, that's totally up to you.